Bernie Sanders is not perfect. He's not a perfect man. There are no perfect men. And lately, what he's been doing is trying to get people to vote Democrat, which I have a big issue with, horrible issue with. But one thing that Bernie Sanders has done that I think he didn't get enough credit for is that he has laid out certain principles. And it is re- those principles have resonated across the country. Principles of getting money out of politics, principles of a living wage, principles of Medicare for all, certain principles. For some reason, he's gotten pushed back from a lot of people on the right who think it's evil socialism. Then they'll call their police department when they hear a strange noise outside, not realizing that's socialism. When they smell smoke at a neighbor's house, they'll call 911 for a fire truck because, I don't know, that's socialism. All of the roads and schools, and all the things that we share, that we pay for socially, is all socialism is. We just want to add a couple more things to the bucket that we pay for as a community of citizens who give a fuck about one another. That's all socialism is. But no, no, we can't have that. He's kooky, he's crazy. Gotta get rid of that guy. Talking about people having coverage. We gotta buy more planes, man. We gotta build more MOABs, MOABs. Shoot, we need some DOABs. The FOABs. We got the mother of all bombs. We need the father of all bombs. We need these things. Can't be worried about people being able to go to the doctor when they get hurt. That's their job to worry about that. See, that's that's the problem. So so I've been supportive of Bernie Sanders' policy ideas. Not as much as his rhetoric out there stumping for the freaking Democrats, but I will I will say this. It has been hard to watch as a number of races that were pretty close by Bernie Kratz somehow didn't get pulled off. Now, I remember, I think it was back in Kentucky, we had a great challenger running. And he got real close, but he couldn't get any money from the Democratic Party. Oh, man, they sent him like $100 right at the very end to say they did something. Here, kid, try to win with that. Don't say we didn't try to help you. Flicked him a quarter, that was it. Well, recently, recently we've had some losses that are kind of painful. Supporters of socialist Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders are disappointed because, well, we haven't been able to win those elections. And that's the true standard barrier. That's, that's what gives you the true credence for your ideas when we get some wins under our belt. And we are trying to get those wins. Queest, he lost to Guy Forte. And that was a painful loss. In fact, I didn't even know that Bernie had been campaigning for the guy. That's how much I've been involved in so many other topics. But here's the deal. Though they are chiding Bernie Sanders and the Bernie Kratz, know this. The policies are sound. They make sense. It's just going to take time for them to resonate. We need to develop a longer track record. We need to, we need to keep fighting. It's not going to happen overnight. If you're interested in grassroots activism, if you're interested in that stuff, and you and you admire some of the policies of Bernie Sanders, join your local Bernie Kratz. Go to localberniecrats.com. You know, the California Democratic fight that's been underway with Kimberly Ellis, you know, trying to turn the trying to turn the page on old democratic ways and make a new party or revise the party. And I get all of that. And I respect the efforts, though I had some questions about Kimberly Ellis, too. I do. Like, California locks up a lot of people. Like, they do a lot of mass incarceration. I don't know. There's so many issues regarding this. But I do believe in new blood in the Democratic Party. I do believe that if that's what you believe, that you think is savable, and you want to try it, hey, who am I to stop you? The Bernie Kratz, if you operate in a framework, we have some new ideas and these ideas resonate with the people, and they do, I think you just got to keep pushing it. They're doing a lot of ridiculing of Bernie Kratz, of Bernie Sanders, because we haven't been winning elections. But it's still the first quarter of the game. We're just getting started. Let the people decide. Earlier this month, Sanders failed to meet a a May 15 deadline for turning in an annual report detailing the finances for 2015. See, they're doing the smear thing. Okay, so what What are you saying? Did he take money? 
Then they tried their trick with Jane Sanders about the college. Maybe she did this for wealth, for gain. It's just a lot of smearing going on. They're trying to stop Bernie Sanders. They're trying to stop the new wave of, of candidates who have been brought up during this movement, who've been inspired to run for office. I don't think we should let them stop this energy. We need this energy. We need people to join the process. It's not for everyone. But for those who are willing to stick it out, run repeatedly, not just once, not just twice, but until you win, that's what we need because we do need a new kind of politics in this country. And so, yes, the Bernie Sanders supporters may be pissed off right now. We have a lot of reasons to be. We got a DNC fraud lawsuit that gets no coverage in mainstream media. For all intents and purposes, Keith Ellison should have been the DNC chair. Tom Perez was called off his barbecue and was told to put down his whiskey and go be the DNC chair. He wasn't even thinking about running. That's how much the Democratic Party establishment doesn't want a new wave of democracy, a new wave of politics in their party. I don't know if fighting them is the only way to go. In fact, I know it's not the only way to go. There's many ways to go. But I believe in the cornerstone of the policies that are better for the people. So I support Bernie Kratz and I support the movement and I support a new insurgence of different types of politics. What I don't support is doing the same old, same old, maintaining the status quo. It's been a tough road for Bernie Kratz. Let's give them the energy to keep going. Meanwhile, we develop new strategic maneuvers with new parties to bust open the system. That's what I think. You let me know what you think. Subscribe to this channel as we're willing to uh, do whatever it takes to move our country forward and to come up with new policies. The strength is in the people, and we have the people. We just need to direct it and organize it. I believe it. I hope you do too.